Genesis chapter 6 through 9 contain the narrative of the global flood. Because the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves, God declared, My spirit shall not strive with man forever. All right, but what was the issue? Well, the issue was total corruption. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping things and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. But, says verse 8, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. See, the story of the flood is narrated from the perspective of God's grace. It is done in a chiastic structure centered in a short sentence that reflects divine grace. Genesis 8, 1. Then God remembered. Then God remembered. Yes, the focus of the story of the flood is not God destroying, but God remembering. In spite of the fact that before the flood, the earth was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence, Despite the fact that God looked upon the earth and indeed it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth, God decided to offer a second chance to the human family. He asked Noah, a preacher of righteousness, according to 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 5, to build an ark that would offer rescue from the fury of the waters. When the cataclysm was over, God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark. And with that, life on earth was rebooted. Shalom.